All right, welcome back everyone. Now, my last video, I did a quick little instructional on how to replace the lenses on these. And in doing so, it has come to my attention that my rangefinder is out of calibration. Now this could be for a number of reasons, you know, it's old, these things happen, it gets knocked around. If you hit it hard enough, the rangefinder will uh, fall out of calibration, so. I was just out in the yard calibrating this and I figured I'd show you guys how to do that. Now these were designed to be as simple as possible. So to calibrate the rangefinder is something that you as the owner would do. And so they added this little top cover on top. And the only reason it would be fighting you is if you have like 70 years worth of gunk built up in it. So first thing you have to do is remove this little top screw cover now if you have a little spanner wrench for like lenses great if you use pliers be careful you don't want to mar it up i didn't have the right tool and i paid for that so i got a nice little scratch on the top but anyway once you free it up you're just going to take this little cover off and inside there's going to be these two little screws Right there and right there two little flathead screws now the reason you would want to get into these is if your image wasn't correlating like for instance in mine if i set the uh, rangefinder to infinity the split image wasn't lining up horizontally now alternatively you can have it where when you set it to infinity the split image lines up horizontally but not vertically and to explain that, I have my little third grade drawing here. So if you have a horizontal misalignment, you'll see a ghost image where they're not lining up side by side. But if you have a vertical misalignment, side by side they're lining up, but you're going to see a ghost image one above the other. So in my case, I had a vertical misalignment. So Now these two screws, the top one here is going to be the A1. And the bottom one is the A2. It's not really important to know that, but in the event that you have a vertical misalignment, either one of these screws will adjust the, uh, the vertical alignment of it. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick, the A1 or the A2. Screw it in, back it out, and check your viewfinder until those two images line up on top of each other. Now... If you have a horizontal misalignment, what I tend to do, which is the, the easiest way for me, is to set it at infinity and then go outside and look for like a telephone pole far off in the distance, something with contrast against the sky so you can like easily tell when the two images are lined up. And then you're going to want to come here and the bottom screw, the A2 screw, it's in a slot. So you don't need to back out the screw or anything to loosen it up. It's kind of just held in place by friction. And you can push the screw head forward to the front of the camera. Or you can push the screw head backwards towards the back of the camera. And move the screw in this little slot in there. And once those are lined up, you can either put the cap right back on it. Or what some people do that I've read is they put like a dab of paint or something on there to kind of hold it in place. And if you look in here, it's kind of shiny. It's got this varnish. So someone had previously done this. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to put any paint or adhesive on there to hold it in place just in case, you know, something happens, you bang it real hard. I don't want this fighting me next time I try to do a calibration on it. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to put the cap back on here. Now, the uh, information that I found on this comes from a uh, Argus C3 instruction and service manual printed for the u.s army and i'm going to put that link down in the description below but it has a lot of information on there that's very helpful and i mean i was infantry myself so if it was made for the soldiers it's going to be super easy to understand the only problem with that is they have the vertical and horizontal adjustments mixed up so the uh what they describe for the horizontal adjustment actually adjusts the vertical alignment and vice versa 
So just know that going in, but all in all, it's a really easy process to do. Just be careful. You don't want to hurt your camera like I did here. So that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the description below. If this has helped anyone, let me know. It's uh, pretty straightforward, and I have confidence that you'll be able to do it no problem. All right. Catch you guys next time.